Weekly Geek is here. 10, 12, 12. Here we go. First thing I want to show off today with Megan, my good friend, is Callbox Modern World Blog. Boy, she's been putting some great effort into a fantastic blog on all the stuff she's studying about literacy. Check that out, Megan. Some great stuff to use in the classroom. Make sure you check this out and read what she's been studying. One of the great things that's been happening with us with technology is we've been Skyping just about every night or FaceTiming every night. I eat dinner with my daughter and stuff like that. It's been fantastic. And she has a little reflection on how that can impact e-literacy and distance learning. Pretty incredible. He likes that blog entry because he's in it. <laughs> and, but I like the cardboard box house, too. And ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> oh, gosh. <laughs> All right, a little background music there as we're going. We're going to cruise, though. We're yeah, going, go. we're going, we're going. Okay, so um, now the next thing we want to show you is a little iMovie fun that we got going on here. Uh, I did a little interview with Greg Young, our new pre-engineering teacher. This is on iMovie, and we're going to share that with you right now. About a minute on Greg Young, our new iMovie guy. Gadgets around. So, Greg, where are you from? How did you get to Lamoille? Excellent. Well, I moved to Vermont about uh, three years ago. Lived down in Morris Hill. I uh, grew up in New Hampshire originally, and uh, just came to Little Moyle through luck of school spring and finding this opportunity to teach here. So nice. You're teaching free engineering, and they're doing all sorts of great stuff with like this 3D printer over here. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, so this uh, this actually prints 3D, which is a concept that's hard for a lot of people to figure out, but it's basically... All right, isn't that cool? That's so neat! Kind of like a glue gun does, and it builds up layer by layer, actually printing out a three-dimensional object. So you could put, you could have them print out like little cars or keychains pretty easily at this point. And yep. this is kind of out there, and people are talking about this technology quite a bit. It's going to grow in the future, I think, a lot. Right. Anything Green you stuff. can design, you can then print out. Please, we'll have them in our rooms for projects. Mm -hmm. Yes. Greg Young, fantastic new pre-engineering teacher, come down and visit his room. It's a fantastic place. Great. Have a great weekend. All right. Isn't that cool? That's so neat. I want to go visit that classroom just to see it. And he's got Arduinos, too, these little, like, computer things that you can make do all sorts of great stuff. It's a really fantastic room, and it's a, just a fantastic thing. And while we're here on iMovie, so what we're doing is we're projecting, we're imaging our iPad onto the screen here, which is kind of cool, huh? Sony. It's through Air Server. It's a really neat little thing we're just playing with. So let's say I wanted to cut off the front part of that video here in iMovie. All i got to do is move that pink line over there, and then I'm going to take my finger, drag it down through, slice it off, and watch this. I'm going to make it go poof. Throw it up there. Now I want to add a caption. I just go like this. Double tap on it there. I'm going to go over and see where it says uh, title style. I'm going to hit title style. I like the middle ones the best. I'll type in a name. G-R-E-G. -E and there we go. Look at it that. It took me a little too long to figure that out. <laughs> but once you figure it out, you're, you got it. So, uh, Weekly Geeks going on, moving on. Megan, did you know that with Google... You can print off an iPad? I did, just because you told me. <laughs> <laughs> it's pretty cool. So you can go to your Google Documents, and if you head on back here, I've got one all set up to print here. You click on it, hit the print, and it will pick up on all sorts of different printers here on cloud printing, including the one right here in my room. That's great, but it has to be on Google on the iPads. Right. right? doesn't pick up on the Mac Air servers yet because we don't use Mac Air servers. Right. Great. That's, That's the Weekly Geek. Wait, no. Don't forget the library. Oh, yeah. Hey, it's almost Halloween, which happens to be my birthday. Yeah, a little self-promotion right there. Don't forget, we've got some great scary stories out. This week is witches, wizards, and warlocks, and magic. And next week, we'll have the undead, which is zombies, vampires, and all that fun stuff. So come down and see what we have. And I'm pretty excited for the Weekly Geek Halloween edition. Ooh. <laughs> have a great weekend. Bye.